You guys, I feel so high right now. I'm not high, but... It's been like three months since I've smoked pot. I haven't even been thinking about it, so I guess that means I'm actually serious. Because I'm not counting. You know? Anytime you count, you know that you're not really serious because you're doing it for the wrong reason. Because it's like you're trying to, you know, prove yourself or whatever. The only reason I've been talking about, like, my 10 years of sobriety is because that's just a, a really huge mile marker, you know? It's like a whole fucking decade. And I don't even really think about it until I hit that uh, sobriety birthday. And my mom's the only one that remembers it because I still can't remember it. Because, like, the last time that I drank alcohol, that bout of sobriety, or that bout of, uh, that bout of drunkenness, that, that relapse was so bad that, um, like, I literally started, I think it was May 29th, and I stopped June 29th. So it was exactly one month. <laughs> 30 days <laughs> for me to turn my life completely upside down, right side up, upside down again. It was like this fucking, uh, what do you call it? You know what I'm talking about? Like one of those. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Like, <laughs> like, uh, um, Uh, uh, a rolly ball, a rolly ball that just keeps, keeps tumbling. It keeps tumbling and, and turning and <laughs> a rolly ball. That's right. A Rubik's cube. It definitely was a Rubik's cube. That's a metaphor that I feel like a lot of people could understand. It was like, you know, not a rolly ball, because I, I don't even know what that is, but <laughs> just a, a Rubik's Cube of, of self-destruction, okay? And I, I think that I purposely do that, though. I purposely, like, turn my life into a puzzle just so I have to solve it, and I have to, like, put it back together, and then I can feel accomplished when I put it back together. But, like, the whole drunkenness was, it was just kind of stupid because like I knew that I couldn't handle myself. I've known that every single time that I drank, I'm like, this isn't gonna work out, you know? <laughs> because I'm nuts, like, and I know that shit. I know that I have obsessive personality and I don't think that's a disease. I don't even think that's an allergy. I mean, it might be to some extent, but like, I think it's more of a, it's more of a mental thing than it is a physical thing. But don't say that to the, the cult members and Alcoholics Anonymous because they'll get very upset, you know. That's why we had to leave. Nothing against them. I mean, maybe it helps them to do that. But it just made me really, really crave vodka. <laughs> you know? I think a lot of people, they just, they just desperately need an identity. And so it, it satisfies them somewhat to think of themselves as like a recovering alcoholic. I don't get it, but whatever. To each their own. But anyway. I don't know why I started talking about that. Oh, you're talking about how like the only reason why you talk about that is because it's like, it's approaching 10 years and that's like a big deal, I guess. Yeah. Well, it is something that, that I allude to with my comedy and just looking at everybody and the way that they're behaving here in this country, 
It's like, man, is everybody an alcoholic? Is everybody behaving exactly like an alcoholic? Because that's what it seems to me. Because they keep demanding more of the same shit that's not working out and it hasn't been working out for a long time, you know? And it just reminds me of my former self. It reminds me of the bad days in a really terrible segment of my life that I don't want to forget, you know? It, it's like, there's so much that I did during that time that was really bad and, you know, I should be more ashamed of it, but it's a huge part of who I am and it's definitely shaped me. So it's like, why would I be ashamed of it? I'm just ashamed of fornicating, that's really it. But And that's a shame that, that I wanna keep too, you know? Women should always have shame and what they do with their vagina if it's not positive for themselves and for this world, you know? That's what I think. And people might think that that's misogynistic or whatever the fuck, but I don't think so at all. I think that that's logical.